Hello, 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 and welcome back to the continuing adventures of Fluttershy as she works her way down through the dungeon. Uh, la where last we left off, this intrepid foal and her uh, crater companions had cleared out the lair, I believe? Yes, yes, they had. And um, done other assorted shit as well. Uh, I'm still relatively low XP and uh, low Fedas piety. Um, my summoning skill seems to be gaining nicely. Uh, I don't know why I'm carrying this book with me. Probably because I have all the summons I already need. Yes, I do. Got a good ice beast. Uh, what's the hunger like on these things? Ooh, very controlled. Very controlled indeed. I'm wearing some decent stuff. I've apparently upgraded to leather because it's poison resist. Ooh, thank god. And um, I have a really nice catch-all ring, which basically just gives me C invisible, stealth plus plus, and resist necrotic. Everything else on there. I guess evade plus four is reasonable too. Okay. Enough, enough, enough said. Uh, let's see what to do next. Um, I have access to the lair, the spider nest, and the slime pits, and the shoals. Spider nest, shoals, slime pits. I'm not confident in my ability to clear any of those. I guess I probably could take out the spider nest, especially since I have poison resist already, and um, the ability to summon ice beasts. But I'm more worried about getting swarmed than anything else, and my... Scorpion power is not high enough that they're going to be allied uh, when they summon. Um, let's tell you what I'm going to do. I'm only on dungeon 4 11. Let's try out 12 and see how it goes. Uh, already I made a mistake, I realized, and that is I forgot to pre summon allies. I was forgetting who I was for a second. Let's go ahead and get some ice beasts in play, send them in against the centaur. Boom, he's dead. Sack his corpse, move on. Uh, I probably shouldn't be freely using Ice Beasts. No, no, I can't think like that. I, I don't have a hunger problem because I'm a centaur. Centaurs have the ability to... I mean, I have a minor hunger problem. I don't need to conserve massively. I'm not a spriggan. That's a kill. Now let's make some room for myself because they're following me. That was not... In fact, I thought that was a tile open. Too much glare. Uh, try and conjure flame to block their way. That worked. And now, Mephitic to Confuse, that didn't work, back off. You know what? Screw you. You're an Ice Beast. That means stab, 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 stab. Fresh Conjure Flame, stab, 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 stab. Notice how I'm kiting, because they can't catch me. I really need you to leave food. Okay, and none of them, in fact, left food, which is unfortunate. I guess the Ice Beast never was going to leave food, but the centaur and the frog, to or the ogre and the frog totally could have. I don't want to get hit. There we go. You know, for a uh, summoner, I'm getting awfully brawly right now. I probably should pay attention to that. But I have a lot of health, so I'm not that worried. And now I have a reasonable number of corpses, so let's butcher one of them. Yes, please. Eat. Eating is done. Another corpse. Eating is done. Eating is done. Okay. Let's see what comes next. Ooh! That guy is going to be a pain in the neck. Let's see if I can't get a healthy dose of scorpions in one cast. Nope. So let's just leave them behind and try again. Perfect, that's a healthy dose of scorpions. Go and poison him, please. That apparently worked. Remove curse. I'm not even going to bother engaging that scorpion because he'll be dead by the time, or he'll disappear by the time I would. Uh, I probably want to butcher this guy, and that way I can afford to summon some more ice beasts. Drop something. Drop the wand to confuse, definitely. And I need to identify... No, I didn't need to identify. I meant to recharge. Oh well, I'll identify something anyway. I don't have a recharge. Whatever. Moving on. Uh, meander, meander, meander. Meander, meander, meander. Definitely want a mephitic. And mephitic plus superior level means I can just stab these guys to death with a single Ice Beast around us to tank damage. How do you... Go kill him, please. Thank you. 
ice on imps, uh, crimson imps works really well. And that's why I want the ice beast on him. Of course, oh, Yahtzee. Lots and lots of corpses. Uh, how many curings do I have? Three. Yeah, it never hurts to have a few more. And let's just pick up some of these other cheap stuffs while I'm here. And a rune cap, why not? What am I wearing for a hat anyway? Nothing, right? Yeah, so... Plus two of C invisible is definitely nice, so now I don't need the ring to see invisible. Um, enchant armor. Do I have anything worth enchanting? Probably the poison resist. I can make it a bit better. Uh, lose the rotten chunks. Drop... Oh, I have an unread scroll. Vulnerability. That's fine. Imp's dead. Imp is presumably dead. Moving around so again. Uh, definitely going to keep upgrading this trident because I don't actually anticipate ever using it long term. I don't anticipate using any weapon long term, so there's no need to save weapon scrolls for my final weapon. This is not going to end well actually now that I think about it because eventually I'm going to run out of mana and they're going to bust through. So instead of failing that, let's see if I can't get a good surround off with my own ice beasts. There we go, 3v1. Actually, I can stab, can't I? So that's 4v1. And now that one of them disappears, I totally replace him. Okay, that didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. They managed to get in the way, but perfect, we've replaced one. And the fight got pushed down into the hall more than I'd like, but whatever, we'll just... There we go. Bring the fight back to where I want it. And you notice how a Hydra s literally snuck up behind me? That cheeky bastard. Uh, he's more important, so definitely going to pay attention to him. And he's dumb enough to stand on a fire, so there we go. Okay, a series of ice beasts have all been killed. My corpses have rotted. And I'm about to get drained, so I want to make sure I have some allies before I do. And hell, an uncontrolled blink, because it's more likely to save me than not. Let's go ahead and get some kills off, or some damage at least. That was a crocodile. What the hell is a crocodile doing here? Yes, yeah, switch back to my main weapon. Stab him. Cut it. Eat it. Regen. Regen, regen, regen. Stab, stab, stab. Kill, kill, kill. Damn it! Waited too long and it disappeared. Probably could have done well in there. Oh well. Uh, animate skeleton is actually not a bad move for me. Do I already have a necrotic ability? I do not. So let's totally pick up animate skeleton. I don't know why it's in red. Presumably because at one point I worshipped a level in. No, 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 no. Because... Fathos will not approve of that kind of necromantic bickery. Fuck. Uh, okay, now that I think about it, it's still probably okay. I just have to make sure it's on something a letter that I never use by accident. Um, and now I can use that as my excuse to train up necromancy, which will ultimately give rise to some of the most powerful summons that I that I can be allowed to use since I've already put a ban on dragons. Got those mutations, but it's probably been a while. Okay, floor 12 clear, moving on, moving on. It's a centaur at distance, see if how close I can get before I get shot, and then confuse him. Maurice, on the other hand, is much more terrifying to anybody who gives a damn about their monetary value. But he's standing in a fire, so I don't want to let him off of it. There we go, perfect. So I'm beginning to appreciate something that I wasn't before, uh, because playing pure summoner, you know, playing pure summoner on a centaur is, has been really challenging. Um, what I'm noticing is, even despite the fact that I've basically been trying to play pure summoner, and so I've mastered my my skill sets and all that are are appropriate for that. Um, I've been able to do a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat fairly efficiently, actually. 
like, my average caster wouldn't be able to stand up in front of a skeleton like this and trade blows. My centaur is non evade and getting hit by it and not really suffering that much as a result. It's just a tanky character. It's kind of like your, Naga, your average Naga caster. That isn't to say, of course, that I... Hmm. I didn't raise that guy as a dead, so... Uh, control P with it? Skeletal Roar just rushes the sound air while chanting, that are walking. Faithus doesn't care. Okay, good. Okay, now I'm at critical range. Let's go ahead and heal, because I, I didn't mean to get quite as low as I did there, and that was a mistake. Block that guy in with my summons and hide by a staircase in case I need to beat a hasty retreat. Let's go ahead and send some dogs on. Perfect. Does she just not approve of necromancy, actually, or just anything that interferes with natural growth? Forbids flowers from harming any species under Faithless's protection and from using any necromantic effects that interfere with corpses. So that means, um, that means, so that means, should be okay for Haunt, I think. I wonder if Faithless objects to my summons using Animate Dead. I probably should figure that out. Um, what's called Imp? H? H? Achi. Damn it. Alright, I'm, I'm running low. I'm just gonna get some mana back and go kill the necromantic mother. Okay. Dog pile! With the dogs! Ah, 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 ah. I don't have any food, so butcher and eat. Yes, please ignore it. Actually, what am I thinking? I don't want necromantic effects anymore either because I'm constantly reliant on corpses for food. Any chance I've missed a gourmand or an amulet that I didn't identify? No? Okay. And am I wearing a cloak? I am, and it's a reasonable one. Okay, good. Sick your dogs on him. Because he's not Batman, so he can't take it. Ah, ah, ah. Switch back, more dogs on the hill giant, and I mean more, I mean lots more, because we got a surround situation here. <clears throat> and as much as, you know, hallway mechanics are interesting for fights, ultimately for the summoner, there's no situation better than surround. trying to do here. I don't need a lot of this stuff, but what am I going to actually lose? The Tome of Destruction I don't want. Staff of Air I don't want. The Rod of Summoning I'll hang on to. Rod of Demonology I don't know what it does, but presumably lets me summon demons as at least one of the abilities. Um, I really want to attack all of these guys down the line simultaneously. So let's test a few ones and see if I can do just that. Another Mephitic, just to enhance the damage, and now we'll let the dogs out. That's right, Fluttershy let the dogs out. Okay, there's actually a very, very big army coming at me, and I'm, now that I look at the level layout, kind of getting shoehorned to where I don't want to be. I don't have the ability to dig. Um, I'm very tempted to teleport in this situation. Let's let's see if I can mephitic the frost giant early. I cannot. Let's teleport and hope for the best. Okay, that worked. Uh, that was I I, I was me wandering too, too quickly and I didn't realize how dangerous it had gotten until it had been very dangerous already. This is an, a very bad situation as well. Um, because at least one of those guys has a reach, but. Looks like I got out. Let's spam butterflies. Do I have butterflies? I don't have butterflies. How do I not have butterflies? Is that not available? I should really get spam butterflies. 
Uh, wow, that got dangerous really fast. You stay there. I'm running away now. Just walks right through it. Dick. Okay, floor 13 is apparently the limit of what I can handle right now, so let's instead go to the Orcish Mines. And summoning's at level 15. I would love to keep trickling into it, but being realistic, I don't actually need to. So let's build up spell casting for the sake of hunger. And of course, always trickling into fighting because health. Ooh, it's a worm! Yeah, I can actually just auto fight these guys. They're weak enough that it's not a concern. And I don't have to. To the Orcish Mines, I've gone too far up. Okay, apparently I used some necromancy in here last time I arrived. Floor 2 is a wide open floor, which is potentially dangerous at least. Still, it might be okay. Let's just uh, be very cautious to always travel with an entourage. And I mean, the downside of wide open floors is getting surrounded. The upside is being able to surround, so, you know, works. I blew a scroll of blinking, so I'm going to replace it. I also see absolutely no reason not to buy a enchant armor scroll and a scroll of recharging because I have good wants so that recharging is worth buying. Uh, heal wounds is already maxed. Let's fix up the teleport and let's drop the cold wand and um, what am I enchanting armor wise? Protection buckler? Sounds sweet to me. Sick him. So my primary reason for being in the Orcish Mines uh, is minor experience gain, I guess. I don't need major experience gain right now. And uh, items. I'm hoping for something that makes me a bit more powerful. Maybe a good level 6 summon. I don't know if I have summon horrible things already or not, so yeah. But I'm getting pretty close to the point where I need to be willing to use Ice Beasts constantly. Damn it, I forgot to pre-summon, and that's gonna bite me. Not as bad as the dogs are gonna bite them, you know, but... Yeah. They're still on work corpse. There we go. It's actually a useful trick. Make sure that your summon is standing on at least one corpse, and that way you have something to eat. And then sack so that the rest gets sacked. Like right there, I got a corpse to butcher, and the rest of these can be sacked. Okay, again, I forgot to pre-summon. You know, if I lose the game because of that, it serves me bloody right. In we go, Halo and Snow. Uh, yep, just gonna fight it out for a while until my health begins to dwindle. Nope, you know what? I can pull four up with me, and that's a good buy. So let's pull the four that I can with me. And then get a new set with me. Uh, yeah, right now, nobody who's adjacent to me is actually somebody, somebody I feel like I would be happy that I had pulled. So I'm just fighting. And stabbing. That's three, and one of them's a wizard. I have poison resist, so I'm going to mephitic at melee range, and boom. That takes out the warrior. Oh, the war dog is confused. I can't trust him not to bite me now, so I should probably not be trusting him. I don't know why I feel guilty when uh, plants are being destroyed. They're not my plants. Teleport trap. That's potentially lethal in this place. One and uh, one up staircase is cool. Up we go. 
Is it just me or am I only seeing one other exit? Let's see if this is a disconnected segment. It is. And everybody together now. What did I forget to do? Free summon allies. I have trained you well. Okay, uh, let's get rid of those. Stab him, stab him, stab him, stab him, stab him. Get some allies. Run away. Something happened and I lost a lot of health. And, well, needless to say, I don't want that to happen. And you know what would be great? Is if I found some centaur barding. In fact, yeah, if I had good centaur barding, that'd be awesome. And it's somewhat rare, but that does it, this is a place to find rare stuff, so you know, it's possible. Okay. I'm missing an upstairs case. Let's head down to tier 3 and see if I can find it. Free summon a few allies. Nope. Not here at least. Head down to tier 3. That wasn't tier 3. Couldn't find it. Let's go down further. This is the final floor. Uh, not to be entered lightly. Um, I don't have abjuration which makes it significantly more dangerous. Definitely want to eat some of this. And find me another staircase down. It should be one on the other side, right? Yeah, I don't like the position I came out at. It's practically surrounded already. So I'm going to heal up and eat a little. Get a few dogs and then head on in. This one is also surrounded, but it's further away from what, to my mind, looks like the fortress. So I'm okay with this location. Let's fight for a little while. And, you know, mentally be ready to retreat as soon as... There's a good pull. And the Orcish Knight didn't come with. I really hoped he would. But that's cool. We'll, uh, or Orcish Warrior. But that's cool. We'll just go back down again with more dogs. Interestingly enough, spellcasting must have leveled up. Um, I really want to get Hungerless Ice Beasts so that I feel more comfortable using them constantly. And then Hungerful uh, whatever my tier 6 is would be more acceptable. Donald I'm not ready to deal with. Not in, ma not in mass. But I'm very hopeful I can make a pull of one or two good targets. Nope. 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 Oh crap. This was an unexplored area. Thus far, it looks like I can fight my way out of this, but I am running low on health. If needs be, I will totally just teleport. And definitely a good time to quaff a potion of agility. And read a scroll of fear if I have one. I do not. Fog. To at the very least uh, prevent the smiting. Or limit the smiting while I get more dogs to go. Do I have a potion of magic? I might need it. Nope. When the smoke clears, there was a lot of toadstools and a lot of dead orcs. And that's what I like. Dead orcs are totally good with me. Uh, of note, I cannot go back down that staircase lightly. I have to be ready to fight hard when I go back down that staircase. Or, you know, not go back down at all. Because Donald plus an orcish warlord were making their way there. Um, and that's potentially lethal. In fact, if I was, you know, this is a main run for my channel, so I can't, I'm not allowed to just play stupid or take dumb risks, which means I have to show optimal play, which means Fluttershy isn't going to charge on into Headstrong Comet, but it looks like I might be able to work my way out through a different vertical path, so that's, that's a plus. Uh, totally willing to buy some random stuff here. Scroll of Teleport never is a miss. Scroll of Fog, Scroll of Blinking, all these things. Eh, that's, that's all good stuff, all good stuff. Uh, let's enchant this weapon some more. And... That's it. Okay. Uh, explore, explore. There's the Elven Halls. It's not a kill. Not a kill. Alright. Um... And I guess that's about all the time I've got right now. 
So uh, I'm going to jump off. I will catch you guys next time.